On March 24th, an estimated 4,000 people gathered in downtown Riverside to protest for gun regulation in the wake of school shootings. I took this opportunity to speak with someone that was against the zeitgeist taking place. Uh, I'm just out here to inform people about the Second Amendment, about why we have it. A lot of people don't understand what the Second Amendment is actually about. They've been given misinformation about it. Uh, they don't understand that the Second Amendment is so that way we the people can defend ourselves against a tyrannical government if our government does get to be to the point where it is tyrannical. But do you think everyone deserves the right to own a gun? Do you think everyone is capable of owning a gun? Do you think that perhaps the ability to get one is far too easy for everyone? Yeah, it, you can get a gun real easy. You can go into uh, downtown Los Angeles and you can buy one on the corner, cheap. Right? You can buy it from somebody who is illegally selling it, right? And then when the person buys it, they are committing an illegal act, right? Laws don't stop criminals. It's illegal to sell a gun on the streets without a background check. But the problem is, is people still do it. Do you think perhaps some regulation is necessary, some training, some license? Because in some states, you don't even require a license. You, just, you can just buy it. You don't require training like a driver's license. To drive a car, you need to prove that you can drive a car. You know, why can it be like that for guns, in your opinion? Well, the difference is, is that the Second Amendment is a right. Driving is a privilege. Can guns also be a privilege? They're a right. We, we have the right to own them. It's like, should the First Amendment be a privilege? Should you have to get a permit uh, to use your First Amendment? But in today's day and age, in which it's so easy and certain regulations are necessary to keep public safety, you don't think that certain measures should be put in place in order to at least try to attempt to reduce the massacres that are taking place in America? Uh, I believed where there are more firearms, that more legally owned firearms, there is less crime. Uh, Kennesaw, Georgia is a perfect example of that. They actually required their citizens to all have firearms in their homes, their crime rate dropped dramatically. I looked into Kennesaw, Georgia's mandatory gun law, which I often hear from Second Amendment advocates, and it turns out that it's primarily symbolic, not enforced by law enforcement. Furthermore, there are certain regulations set in place in the law. As Section B states, Exempt from the effect of this section are those heads of households who suffer from a physical or mental disability, which would prohibit them from using such a firearm. So even Kennesaw took precautions of limiting guns to potentially dangerous individuals. Furthermore, the follow-up sentence further exempts those that don't want to own a gun, either for personal beliefs or religious doctrine. I contacted Robert C. Jones, who served as president of the Kennesaw Historical Society for 21 years, and asked him whether this law implementation could work nationally. His response being, I think it could be implemented in most towns the size 35,000 and smaller. I think the dynamics might be different in a larger urban area, though. This is Giovanni Alcibe Guzman for Viewpoints.